Hello everyone and welcome to the new DLC for Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest. Been looking forward to this one for a little while. It, according to the Steam page, has a lot of cool new features and I have not tried this game out at all. I wanted to start learning this with you in this series so that is what we are going to do and I'm digging the music in the background which just stopped. Which is too bad, but let's start a new game. Oh, that's good, cool. Okay, so in this game, what I do know of is that there are two storylines, or two campaign types. You have the storyline campaign, which is going to be, uh, has a main quest and other special features, according to this. And then you have your more traditional Mountain Blade campaign, which is going to be a sandbox, so it's just the world for you to play in. We're going to do the storyline, because that's new, and I want to give it a try. Difficulty options. You can change these options during the game at your camp. Realism feature highly recommended. The stamina is determined by the health and athletic skill and affects their physical resistance during battle. When a character's stamina is, is exhausted, he or she wouldn't be able to run and their weapon damage will be halved. Sure. Your skill points will deteriorate when you equip heavy armor. This skill brings better balance to the game as light troops become more important. Huh. Heavy armor, that makes sense, I guess. Autosave. Your army needs to rest in a settlement, your campsite, or your refuge from time to time. Oh, yes, your refuge. You can build your refuge in this game, from what I understand on the Steam page. Um, which is cool, and hopefully we can get to that at some point later in the series. Lack of rest will lower your troop morale, while resting will improve it. Now, normally, I think if I wasn't recording, I would probably put this on. But for the purposes of recording a series, having to have my army wait for a while and just rest and do nothing isn't really exciting, so I'm not going to do that. But if I was playing a campaign where I was not recording, I'd probably put that on. Insane damage. Your enemies will cause double damage, but you only cause half. Well, we're not crazy. Gore. Add decapitation to battles for 18 plus feature. Well, we're all 18 plus here, aren't we? Continue. There we go. We are in the 9th century, long gone of the lights of Rome, absorbed by the tide of time, yet several centuries remain until the golden age of knights and princesses to come. It is a brutal, dark, and ruthless era of raw strength and survival, where men go to bed every night praying to see a new day. It is the age of the Viking, the clans of Ireland, the ascension of Wessex, and the emergence of the Kingdom of Alba. It awaits you. I guess that's our, uh, this is our world here. Who, who am I? That is a good question, game. I am a male. We're going to be a tall male. We're going to be 23 to 40. Slightly a uh, veteran here. Personality is over here. This is pretty cool. Okay, so with this feature, let's see. It is associated with people who are optimistic, imaginative, artistic, cheerful, sociable, rational, and pleasure-seeking. These people are also forgetful, impulsive, and unpredictable. Hmm, let's check out some of these other ones. It is associated with people who are persuasive, egocentric, extroverted, independent, charismatic, and ambitious. These people are also insistent, impetuous, bad-tempered, restless, and touchy. Well, if we're gonna be an invader, let us be bad-tempered, restless, and touchy. Greatest Virtue. Um, let's try Fortitude. Also called Courage. It ensures firmness during difficulties and constancy in the pursuit of goals. It is the strength to make a decision based on moral, moral convictions, whatever the consequences. Sure. Nationality. Foreigner. You come from far away, seeking to get to know the north of Europe. A world dotted with dozens of small kingdoms, all harassed by the Vikings. Scato Picked. Ah, oh, the Picts, okay. A descendant of an ancient people of uncertain origin who inhabited parts of northern Britain or of Goidelic invaders now mixed in. Let's see. You are Britain, a member of the Celtic people who inhabited Britain since before the Roman invasion. Hmm. Irish. You are Godel, a member of the Celtic people inhabiting the island of Iru, which the Romans called Hibernia. Frisian. I don't even recognize that one. You come from the dyke country of Friese on the north edge of the continental Europe. Oh, these like... F French? 
Ins okay. Norse. You are a Norseman, a member of the pagan peoples native to Scandia, who raid the coast of Europe. Or Anglo-Saxon. A descendant of a Germanic people who, in ancient times, dwelt in Slaeswick near the mouth of the Elbe. Your people have been taking over Britain for 400 years. Let's be a Norse. How about that? Father's occupation. Ooh. What does outlaw give us? You were born years ago to an outlaw. Your education was rather informal. Living in abandoned huts or even along the road, you were put to work begging until you became more useful for cutting purposes. Some may say your childhood was a waste, but nobody knows the shadowy backstreets and secrets of the towns like you do. Nah. Not a craftsman. Let's see. There we go. You were born years ago to a craftsman. Your father's ability to make beautiful and useful things were always highly valued by the community. You grew accustomed to live with some comfort and luxuries, and you can tell a hammer from a mallet. Let us be able to tell the hammer from the mallet. Learned while a child. Uh, martial arts. You studied under Bruce Lee. Uh, let's see. You spent your youth as a page at a nobleman's hall. You were chosen to be a companion to one of the wealthiest noblemen of the kingdom, so were given a place at the hall. Serving the more senior members of the household, your first lessons were in humility. In compensation, there were all sorts of entertainments, chess games, gossip, bards. Really? This is because I'm a martial artist? Okay. Oh, maybe this is something else. Hold on. You played rough games with other children, battling each other with sticks and swords. Such games provided you invaluable lessons for your current life. Sure. Well, yeah, let's go with that. Alright, vocation. Mm. I mean, I don't know if I really want to be a priest. Let's see. Formerly, you were a priest. When you were not working or studying at the monastery, you traveled around spreading the word of God. Anyone who listened to you was greatly impressed with the passion of your sermons. Though you had kept the vow of poverty through... Nope. Hunter. Formerly you were a poacher, unsatisfied with the common men's desperate desire of wealth. You took to your local lord's own forest and helped yourself to their bounty. Laws be damned. You hunted stags, boars, and geese and sold their meat under the table. You cut down trees right under the watchman's noses and turned them into firewood to warm many freezing nights. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we'll keep it. Religion. We will follow our... Norse background and be a pagan. Your family believed to be in the Scandinavian gods. You soaked up all of the stories told far into the night with everyone gathered around the fireplace. You are a staunch believer of the old ways. Your worship gives all the deities their due. Odin, the chief god. Thor, the god of the sky and thunder. Freya, the goddess of love. And all the rest required to oversee all the disparate processes of the world. Alright. You are a pagan. What will the game save policy? Uh, sure. What will the name be? Oh, actually, I already know. Gushna. Okay. Attributes. Sea King. Every point increases the maximum number of ships you can command. Yes, there is naval combat in this game. One of the biggest new features, in case you did not know. I would love to be a Sea King. That's cool. Uh, navigation. Party map speed on C is increased by 3% per skill level, so it's kind of like pathfinding, but for the C. Weapon maintenance. Adequate knowledge on maintenance for your equipment will ensure it will not break so easily in battle. What? I didn't even know equipment could break in this game. Good to know. Anything new besides those? No. Okay. Well, good thing we have a weapon maintenance of five. I'm assuming it's because our father was a craftsman. Uh, we'll raise Sea King some more. So we're going to need... What was that? Charisma? Oh, boy. We already have a 17 in strength. Holy crap. That is insane. Let's spread our points between Charisma and Intelligence there. Uh, navigation, sure. Let's put three points into that. More Leadership. Iron Flesh is already at a five? Holy... 
could, gosh. Power Strike, Power Throw. Weapon Master. Athletics is out of five. Riding's out of two. Trainer Tracking. Uh, Pathfinding is going to be pretty big. Okay. Engineer, four. Well. I don't know what to do. Um, seeking. Okay, so we got slings are added in this game. Well, since they're new, why not? I'm not a huge fan of slings, but if they're new, let's check them out. Just your character's face. Whoa! Hello, me. Let's see what the randomize gives us. Ah, okay. Look at that flowing hair. What is this? This is a mountain blade. <laughs> oh, is that Gerstner? That may be Gerstner. Let me go through the beard options. Do we have a braided beard of it? Oh, okay, that's getting there. Oh, look at that mustache. There it is. Gerstner. I like it. Well, would we have that color hair though as a Norseman? No, it'd be. Oh, what would their hair be? Just like a brown or a black? Closer to that? Probably. I think? What do I know? And, uh, you know, we could modify everything here, but we're not gonna go through that. Okay, here we go. You can't sleep. You can hear the constant crunch of the boat hull, smell sea brine, 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 and feel the breeze caressing your face, but your eyes are closed and refuse to open, and your mind keeps dreaming, remembering other times, a past life that feels far away and that you remember less every day, even though not many months have passed since your departure. Now the future is uncertain. Your journey has brought you to the Frisian Sea, hoping to find news about an old sorcerer who takes care of all ills because your mother is sick. For her, you left everything behind, a world you knew like the back of your hand, and paid for passage on a north boat, a paunchy merchantman. It's slow and clumsy, but its captain has promised to take you to the remote part of Friese? 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 Where the sorcerer lives. Your mother travels with you, nobody else has joined you. Her illness progresses, and there are days when she no longer recognizes you, but she appears to be a com uh, completely sound at other times. Every morning you wake up not knowing which day it will be. Will you be able to converse with her? Or will you have to tie her to a post so she does not fall overboard? You need to wake up. Though your eyes oppose you and your mind boils with fever. One more effort. Your eyelids obey. I'm assuming this is because of, we chose a storyline. Oh, we're on C! Oh, we're on C! West through all, Gershner. Are you well today? You were moving violently in your sleep and saying incomprehensible things. My sailors thought you were being tormented by a spirit. Where am I? <laughs> I'm not going to do voice. Oh, uh, where am I? What is this place? Oh, this is bad. You don't remember anything? My name is Avo Leof. I am the captain of this ship, the Wooden Rick. Wooden Rick? Apologies if I get some of these mispronounced. Uh... Already, I've seen some words that I'm not really used to. Like, is that a, that's his name? Is that his title? Leave. Um, you embarked with us in Frise some weeks ago, paying well for us to take you on. I remember now. Look at these boats in the background. Well, don't worry. These things happen to everyone. Thanks, but it's lights out. Shouldn't we be under full sail? The boat is not moving. What is happening? Why have we stopped? We found a bit of wreckage. Some half sunken ships. Looks like there was a fight here recently. I have my men checking out the situation and looking for survivors. Poor bastards wouldn't have had a chance against Viking longships. We'll be on our way soon enough, though. Could we hurry it along? Whoever sunk their ships might still be nearby. No, we will uh, finally have a bit of excitement. I think I'll go and help them. Maybe talk later, sir. I need to give some orders to my men. Okay. You learn the basics of movement, interaction, and combat. In Viking Conquest, you use the mouse to control where you're looking. WSD keys. Yep. Go to the center of the boat. Alright. Look at that face. It's a face of victory. I have a dagger. 
Next, you will learn to interact with objects and persons. Near you, there is a man called Bodo. To find out who a person is, walk toward him or her until the name pops up. Don't talk to Bodo, you press F key. Okay. Where is Bodo? There you are. Good day, Gershner. It is good to see that you are well. You were giving us a fright, talking in your sleep. I'd hate to be the one troubled by such dreams. Oh, we have choices based on the type of personality we made. I had a nightmare, but now I'm awake. All that matters is what's ahead. Yes, we are finally near Frise. There, after all these days, we will part. For my journey continues on towards West CX? Sex? Sex? CX? Uh, for now, it's good to see you up and about, friend. Thanks. Now I'm going to help check out the ships. Farewell for now. Next, we will cover attacking with weapons. You can draw different weapons from your weapon slots by scrolling forward with the wheel of your mouse. So it's basically just mount blade. Uh, you attack the currently wielded weapon that the music wants to play but does not. That's kind of odd. Press and hold the button to ready an attack, then release the button. Yep. If you hold a while, the attack will be more powerful. Scroll down or use the number pad to bring out your shield or put it away. I don't have one. Talk to Veteran to practice some combat. Okay. Veteran. Oh, that's probably in, like in the game. Oh, no, never mind. Here we go. Good day to you, lad. The captain hired me to protect his ship. Here on matters of defense, my word is law. Okay. Indeed you can. I don't have anything better to do while we aren't in combat. I could find you some op opponents to practice with if you like. Or if you have any questions about the theory of combat, feel free to ask. Let's move on to practice. If I may say so, I see a great warrior in you. Some sailors have been idle since we stopped. Let's see if one of them can help us. I am ready. Ha! Ah! Yes! Oh! Oh no! I tried to kick! Oh, I just got my butt whooped. There we go. We'll say I secretly won that one. Uh, next we cover attacking with what? Oh, really? I have to... Oh, no. I guess I have to win this one. Come here. Got here. All right, there we go. Everybody back on the ship, hurry. Okay. Oh, Woden, we're in trouble. What's happened? Shh, keep quiet. Listen, we're in danger. As we were watching your, your fight, two long ships arrived. Now I can see the banner. It's Finn Bullneck. Ah, oh, damn it. You better pray to whatever gods you worship. Hell, you may as well pray to those you don't. Won't matter at all if he catches us. Who is Finn? You've not heard of him? Finn's a Viking. Worse, a Viking's Viking. He burns villages and sinks ships and enslaves or kills everyone in them. Everyone. But it's worse for the one he chooses for a hideous death as he sacrifices to his gods. Heard of Bl uh, Blodorn, the Blood Eagle? You don't want to know what that means. Now keep quiet. Blood Eagle? Huh. I only know what Blood Eagle is because I watched that uh, Viking show with Ragnar Lothbrook, if that's what they're talking about. It is pretty gruesome. Uh, you notice his hands shaking from nervousness. I think they're passing by. If we stay still right here, they may just think we're another bit of the wreckage. That's our only hope. Uh, we mustn't make the wrong move here. Sven spotted us. They're turning this way. Nothing for it but to move. Cut the anchor and start rowing. Oh, Woden, it's no use. Help. It's fine. It's fine. Bodo shouts, Gershner, fight! I am yet with you. Then we shall fight, my friends. Someone give me something other than this dagger. Oh, this is cool. I'm actually moving. In Mountain Blade? Like, this is crazy. What do they have to do to get this to work? Oh, shh. Yes, my- oh, my, my mother was locked unconscious! Ah! Oh, I fight! You want- Ah! Oh. 
Well, something tells me we weren't supposed to win that one. I can't believe they locked out my mother in the <laughs> they just, I'm like, mother! Strange. You've been asleep, but you can't remember any nightmares. What you remember clearly are Viking warriors boarding the Woden Rick, plunging their weapons into the bodies of the captain and sailors, and Bodo, the Cantabrian defending himself like a lion until cornered. You hear his words in your consciousness. Gershner, fight! I am yet with you. You remember the death, your death, when your enemies fell upon you. You still feel the wooden floor of the boat smash into your cheek before you could hardly breathe. A goodbye to the world. Your eyes met your mother's just before the end, as a huge viking dressed in iron, could he be Sven? Cracked her head with a spear and threw her body to the side. You crawled, leaving a trail of blood, preferring to give your body to the fish, but you remember no more. Are you dead? But if you're dead, why do you feel the sore muscles of your body, or the heat from a nearby fire? How is it that you can clench your hands, open your eyes, and distinguish the beams of a roof over you? And if you're alive, who has saved you? Why and how? Sir, I have a brother who's been captured by bandits. <laughs> no, this isn't the beginning of a normal game. Ah, you're awake. It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky, foreigner. Some god has watched over you. When they brought you here, you were more dead than alive. Or am I? You have been close to death, unconscious for two weeks. Dokinga Fisherman? Dasinga? Found you near the coast, clinging to a plank. You were barely breathing and your body was covered with wounds. They brought you here so that I would heal you. Then I am in Frise. Are you the old sorcerer, the man who can cure all diseases? No, one man only could claim such fame. People from around the world came in search of cures at his door. They were so numerous that came up... Wait, they were so numerous that came up to the trails to... Dasinga. Dasinga? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But that man died a year ago. I am Ebe, his son, a simple healer. A year ago, you say? Damn! I've lost everything. This trip has been for nothing. Many like you have been here since the death of my father, leaving everything for the promise of a cure that I cannot give them. I'm sorry, but the skills of my father died with them. Do you know if the fishermen found more people? Maybe my mother is still alive. They brought only you here. I don't know more. You should go ask in Dasinga. The village is near. You need to talk to Thoncrick. Thoncrick? Very good, healer. I'll talk to Thon Creek from Dasinga. Farewell. Dasinga is near here. Good luck, foreigner. Thon Creek is a good man. He will help you. You've taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing Q. Declaration of War. Wow. The Kingdom of Kanakcha? Kanakta has declared war against the Kingdom of Mumain. Blacksmiths have stopped manufacturing plows to forge swords and spears. War has been declared. I am not going to know most of these. Uh, Kanakta has declared war against the tribe of Osraige? 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 Uh, okay. Hey, look, there's Dasinga. They were correct. It's pretty close by. Here's our world. Denmark. Huh. Whew. And soon we will control it all. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Okay. Well, let's head into Dasinga. You are now viewing the world map. Left clicked on the map to move your party to that location. Enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. Time will pause on the overland map if your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. To wait anywhere, simply press and hold down the space bar. This is a good moment to save your game. Welcome to Viking Conquest. Welcome indeed! Wow. Look at this. Fancy screen. The village of Dasinga seems to be flourishing. The fields and orchids are humming with activity with filled sacks of grain and drying meat testifying to the productivity of the village's cropland and pastureland. These lands belong to no one. It's a Christian village. Pagans are hated by the population. Uh-oh. Well, let's find Thonkirk. 
Basinga. Yep. People here are hardworking and still very prosperous, although foreigners no longer come as they did before. Uh, before the death of the old sorcerer. When you go into the village, you see a lot of activity around you. Apart from the busy villagers, uh, some warriors swarm among the people, exercising the arts of war. Perhaps preparing for an adventure beyond the sea. Maybe you can ask the warriors for practice in the various aspects of combat. Wow, they, they really are kind of going for it. Riding trainer. I have come here for some riding practice, but my old bones are aching badly, so I decided to give myself a rest today. If you would like to practice your horsemanship, you can take my horse here. The exercise would be good for her. Uh, yes, thank you. Let me ride the horse. Hey, people, we're riding a horse. <laughs> I doubt I get to keep the horse. Oh there, regular warrior. We are polishing off our combat skills here with a bit of sparring practice. You look like you could use a bit of training. Why don't you join us, and we can show you a few tricks. And if you need an explanation of any combat concepts, just ask. Sure. Alright. Well, I kind of have an unfair advantage here, but... Yep. Ah! Ha ha! Good sparring. You defeated me, but next time I'll be more careful. Do you want to go again? Sure. Why not? We'll go one more time. Let me dismount. Ha ha! Yes, let's do another round. Ha <laughs> ha! No, that's not funny. <laughs> I mean, I could continue to beat this man to a pulp, but I'm not going to do that. Are you trying to talk to me? No. Where's Thonkirk? Archery trainer. Pay 50 pinnings? Huh. Not now. Can I exit the screen on the top? There you are. Thonkrick. Welcome to Tasinga. Oh, wait. You are the man we found in the sea. Nice to see you, most surely. I didn't dare hope to see you alive again. That healer may yet prove worthy of the legacy of his father. God rest his soul. Are you Thonkrick? I must thank you that I am still alive. My name is Gershner, and I am in debt to Dasinga. That isn't necessary. No debt, my friend. Rescuing others from distress at sea is the duty of every fisherman. We found you unconscious, clinging to a plank and led by the tide. Fortunately, you were not far from the coast. We were traveling on a ship, the Warden Rick, and were attacked by the Vikings. That's the reason you found me in the sea. I know the wooden rick. It made landfall at Dasinga many times because it had passengers seeking cures for the most terrible ills. The father of the healer who had healed you was a man well known for his skills in many parts, and thousands of people left everything to come here. Now that man has died, and unfortunately his son does not have his father's magic. I am sorry to hear that the wooden rick was attacked by vikings. Ooh. The sea brings swollen corpses and wrecks to our shores sometimes, but nobody lately. Usually, Vikings take prisoners to sell as slaves. Thonkrik, our, ships, or our ship was attacked by Sven Bullneck. Have you heard of this name before? His eyes widened. Sven Bullneck. Oh my good god. It is a miracle, then, that you are alive. Sven is a murderer, and his men are demons. He takes no prisoners, kills the whole crew, and burns a ship with the corpses inside. He does not look for riches. Sven is more ambitious. Each year, we pay a lot of money to him to leave us in peace. Sven had the audacity to attack the ship I was traveling on and kill everyone. He will play dearly. Where is he? To seek Sven? Are you crazy? You are not listening to me. Look around. See those men training here? They are hardened warriors sent by our Jarl. They are here to defend us from Sven's attacks, and we are lucky. Other villages don't enjoy as much importance to the Jarl. No, no, I know nothing about Sven. 
Yes, I noticed them, and so what? They are not looking for Sven. Where is Sven? I want an answer now. Let's go for this one. Thonkrik, I need your help. Don't you know I can help you kill Sven? Gershner, look at yourself. You're weak, puny. Almost dead just weeks ago, saved by lowly fishermen. You've lost all your possessions. You don't have weapons, resources, or men. I don't know where Sven keeps his hideout, but if you go there someday, you will meet your death. I don't fear death, Thonkrik. I know what I want to do, and it is to kill Sven. Farewe uh, farewell. I see the determination in your eyes. Here, take these few coins and my advice along with them. Find a job and forget about Sven. Otherwise, feel free to ask the Jarl of Kinemer. He might be able to help you. Okay. I'm looking for men who are willing to follow me. I can protect this village from harm for a fee. Really? Well, that's something for the future. No people in the area. You do not look like anyone special. A wanderer like many others with promises and words, but nothing more. Why should I help you find recruits? I see I did not come in a good time. We'll talk again another day. I'm not going to threaten this man. Interesting. So we can't recruit if we're not, like what, high enough level? Is there a, like a fame meter? I'm assuming mine's pretty low. Villager. What is this? Hello. Oh, maybe I should accept that archer person's um, offer. I was hoping it'd be a sling, because that's what I want to try, but eh, I mean, I, I guess we can. Why not? Longbow, arrow, and javelins. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm not carrying any arrows. What? You just said we got arrows, right? Yeah. Oh, look at this inventory screen. No helmets? Is that, is that a helmet icon? Interesting. Outfit arms. It looks like a shield to me. Bread grants plus four morale to the party. I do have arrows, but maybe it's because I just got them. Oh wait, there we go. How did I do? I can't even tell, because these guys have been firing arrows for quite a while. So, never mind. Okay. Well, I think we've done all we want to here. I guess we'll move on to find the Jarl. Maybe get hired in this service. Uh, so, thanks for watching this first episode, everybody. I will see you next time when we try to find the Jarl. And I'm not going to throw this at a villager. Yep. <gasps> oh, tutorial. Your missiles are refilled for the training. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got scared. Like, you threw this in a village. You will now die. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Take care.